What is going on y'all? I'm back on the trap line. The saga continues. We're still trying to catch these beavers. As you guys saw in the last video, I had a couple missed catches and all I'm doing today is resetting some of those traps and setting them in some different locations. So you saw in the last video that I caught a beaver on a spot where I had knocked a hole in a dam. So what I'm gonna do today is put two more sets like that one out and probably leave that same set that I have out over there. So let's go over here, let's get this one set up on this dam, show you guys what I'm doing. Just gonna knock a hole in it, make a funnel with some sticks and stick my conibear right in the middle of it. So they've gotta come through there to repair it. But enough talking, let's get over here and set this trap. As always, thank you guys so much for watching the video. Go ahead and subscribe if you're new to the channel so you can keep up with what I'm doing. Hit that notifications button and like the video if you enjoy it. I appreciate you guys so much for watching, staying on top of what I'm doing, all these crazy adventures that I get into. But another beautiful day out here. It's cold, Georgia morning but blessed to be out here nonetheless. The Lord is good. Let's get over here and set some beaver traps. Out. Here's the dam. Time to get to work. Time to make some beavers angry. I'm gonna do it, call it like right here, where this natural vegetation is. They were just working on this last night. It looks like there's a bunch of fresh mud piled up there. Whoa! Almost went over. That would have been very cold. Uh, that's looking pretty good. All right. Now I just need to get some sticks to make a little bit of a funnel with, and then get the trap set. I should put two traps over here, honestly. <sighs> Need to hunt for some more sticks. Need some of this natural stuff in here. Get this over here. Secure the trap. Safety's are coming off. That trap is set. Good job. Thanks, all right. Let me see that camera so I can give the rundown. All right, first set of the day is made. It was a tricky one because I forgot to bring my wire with me, but we made it work. Right here, good water flowing right through the dam. Got my trap set right here. One thing I did since I didn't have any wire, I just found a stick with a notch in it. Just a branch coming off. I shoved it into the level I wanted, moved my spring up and lodged it in the fork right there. And then I put this other stick. This one doesn't have a notch on it, but I've got this pressure built up. So I just stuck that one in and it's keeping it level. You wanna make sure your trap's solid so that uh, when they come through, the only thing that's moving is the trigger, like your trap isn't shifting. 
when they come through but took a few more sticks made a bit of a funnel moved this brush up over here so that that funnels them in as well i'm pretty sure their den is up this way so they're probably going to be coming down this way to repair this if they come up this way um i'll still have a pretty good shot at catching them because eventually i think they're going to move through there just as long as they don't push a stick through first i think that's what happened on that other spot right back there i think whenever i was uh I think whenever I had that trap set, a beaver came through with a stick in his mouth and set my trap off. But we're gonna come back, check this one tomorrow, and hopefully we've got a beaver in it. We're gonna run back over to a different spot where the beavers have been causing havoc and do two more very similar sets we're gonna set on dams that they're trying to stop the water flow we're going to do the same thing knock a hold them set a trap on them and see what happens i will catch you guys at the next spot see you here in a minute i'm here at spot number two if you guys haven't watched the last video go ahead and check that one out but i just caught a beaver here last night that's the second night in a row that I've caught one right here. There's a pipe that goes underneath this road straight into the river and the beavers have been damming it up. As you can see, knocked out a good piece of it. I've got water flowing through and I've been setting my conibear right here. So I'm catching them when they come to repair it. Um, I'm gonna get this trap reset same way that I've been doing it. It's been successful, so I'm not gonna change anything. That's a big thing with trapping. If you got something that's working, do not change a thing. Do it exactly the same way because animals, most animals react the same, have the same habits, so we should be able to get another one caught here. I know there's more beavers in this spot, so let's get this thing reset and going. Then we're just gonna jump right across the creek here and set another one. Number two is ready to go. Just set it up the exact same way that I have the last two nights. Made my funnel. Drop it in the comments if you think that is a little bit excessive. It's about what I've been doing. I've been catching beavers, but that beaver last night was really small. So was the other one. The other one wasn't super small, but it was a younger beaver. So if you think that I need to be going a little bit lighter on my funnel and stuff to catch an older beaver let me know but um same deal have my uh trigger set everything's ready to go trap wired up to this stick right here got both springs put through a stick to keep it good and solid should be pretty good for another one to come through repair the dam get caught good stuff all right time to go set number three just gonna walk right over here and set it up on another dam let's ride so i know i said i was gonna set that other one on a dam but i've changed my mind i knocked out a pretty good chunk of it yesterday and they have not repaired it so i'm gonna set <clears throat> right here in this run the main rivers right here the pool that i caught both those beavers at in the last video is right up above us you can see the pipe right here excellent camera work i appreciate that so this is a perfect spot right here really narrow just narrow enough to set a trap so that's what we're gonna do oh all right Get this bad dog in here. Oh, grab a couple of sticks. Nice.
Safeties are off, trap is set. Good deal. Give you guys a closer look. What we got going on. See the main river back there? Run comes right in. Got my trap set right in the center. It's actually touching the bottom right there so they can't go underneath it. Come right through. That's going to do it for that one. And that's all the beaver traps that we're setting today. Just those three. So, going to get out of here and we'll come back, check them in the morning. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good morning, y'all. I'm out here checking the traps this morning. And I just pulled up on this first set. I didn't make a video talking about how I did this set. Super simple. I'll run you guys through it but we have a nice otter in the trap this morning. Super pumped. You can see this big pond right here. The otters have been coming up and just hammering the fish. So there's a nice little crossover, as you can see right here. And I set a foothold down here. Oh, where they've been coming up. You can see right here, we have a nice otter just set my trap right here and as he was coming up the hill we got him he fought pretty hard last night but ended up biting the dust super pumped though glad that i got this otter out of here it's not a very big one but it's an otter it's a fish killing otter i'm gonna show you guys this trap once i get it off this otter and just talk about how i had the set so you know you guys can go out, try this out, learn from what I did. But yeah, I'm gonna pass this camera over to Derrica and get this otter out of here. There you go. Thanks. There we go. Nice otter. Super cool. Good catch on him. Just right in the pad. Just have a big uh, number three foothold right here. And I'm gonna run you guys through how I had my set. Make sure you got your pan level. So when you're setting on crossovers and runs like this, especially with a foothold, anytime you place your trap, you want it to be long ways so that when they're coming through they're sticking their foot right here and you have a lot more jaw space coming up on them instead of having it set like this when they step in it they might just get like their toes up here and then it just slapping their feet <clears throat> especially on a beaver where they have big back feet and they'll come up with their they'll carry their front feet up when they're coming up something like this so they're just walking on their back legs so really what you're doing is catching their back legs but i just had it set right down in there moved it down in the mud a little bit to get it pretty solid and it worked we have a nice otter so super excited about that i actually am going to go ahead and reset this the same way that i had it it obviously worked and we're going to get this going you want to make sure that you anchor your trap really well especially if you're not using a drowning slide or something like that you want to get it anchored really well because beavers and otters are both very strong but i'm just going to go ahead and get this dude push down in the mud pretty good oh, so that it's good and solid it's not going to move much if they step on the front half of it they won't know it's there we're gonna leave that there super excited nice little otter first one of the season let's go all right we have some beaver traps to go check let's go get after that that's walking up on trap number two it's our beaver set and let's see our trap is gone where is it? 
Got it. Found the rope. You are kidding me. Oh. And we have a beaver. This is pretty wild, guys. So, you guys saw, that's a nice big beaver too, wow. But this is pretty wild. So, had this trap set, you saw how I set it on this dam, fixed it up to where there was water flowing right here, my trap was right here. But what's crazy is the beavers buried this beaver in the trap overnight so that they could fix the dam. I mean, he was, you can see down in the mud right there, he was just buried in it. The whole beaver. It's like they almost used him as part of the dam. <laughs> That's crazy. Super pumped though. Got the beaver. I am going to get this trap reset, same exact way. And hopefully we'll catch another one. Obviously, there's several beavers in here if overnight they did all that and covered up a dead beaver to fix the dam. Good stuff, okay, gonna get this guy out. Man, that's a really nice beaver. That's the biggest one that I've caught so far this year. I snared some pretty comparable to that a little, like a few weeks ago, but snared two that were nice size, but that is a giant, that's a really big beaver. Oh, good deal. All right, time to get this set remade. Catch you guys at the next trap. All right, we are walking up on the other two traps. One of them is on that pipe where they've dammed it up, and the other one is on a run. Let's see, okay. Nothing on the pipe set, but they have been here. What? Do we have one over there? I don't think it's a beaver. <laughs> what is it? I think it might be a coon. I can't really tell, but it looks like a coon. It is a coon. <laughs> <laughs> oh well, we'll take it. Not a big beaver. It's in the run over here. That's funny. <clears throat> yup, nice little coon. Good stuff. Got it. Nice little coon right there. That'll save some turkeys and some quail, but good stuff. I'm probably going to leave that set over here that's on the pipe. They haven't repaired it, but there are some beaver tracks right there. So they checked it out. They just came over here. You can see they moved these sticks out of the way that I had kind of blocking that spot. Let me get those back in there. Leave that trap set and go from there. All right, that is gonna wrap up today's video. It was an awesome day on the trap line. Nice otter, huge beaver, and a nice big coon. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, go ahead, like the video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Tomorrow, I'll be back out here. I'm gonna come out here, reset some of these traps, hopefully, Try to get a few dirt holes in today. I have some other work I have to do, so hopefully I'll have time to come back out and get those dirt holes in too. So look out for the next one. Hopefully we'll have more success on the trap line. Still have plenty of season left to go. So let's get out of here and I'll catch you guys in the next video.